Hey guys, so Roberto Game One Fair. Welcome to season two of my Manchester United career mode on FIFA 18. Now, if you take a look at our budget, it is very, very tasty. Now, let's have a look at our chapters. We've got to win the Champions League again, the FA Cup, and the Premier League again. Now, obviously, last Premier League we couldn't see a lift if some reason the glitch happened. So there we go. We're going to win that, win that, win that. We've done that one, and we're just with 68%, so we're doing alright, and we need to do youth squads again. Phew. I need to redirect them again. Nine months, please. Uh, nine months, please. And... Nine months, please. There we go. So, we've set up the scouting network that we want, right? So, I'm looking to bring in a center mid and a very strong center back. Now, if all this happens, what? Shit. All right. Who do we go for here? Klassan, Xhaka, Kaita, Toliso, Gomez, Isco, or Varane. Um, all right. Um, I think I'm going to go for Kaita. I love him. Let's have a look at his stats. Uh, let me just type in Kaita. My one is 23. Nabi Kaita. Here he is. Yep, I'm buying him. I'm getting him. I love him. Right, I'm going to sign Kaita for his... Oh, well, I could sign Taliso. They're both the same age. He wants more on his wage. 45. I'm going for Taliso. I've got to. But he's high rated. Fuck! Um, I need to go for a run first. I need, um... Hmm, do I have to pay 91 million? Oh my god. Can't go for him. 91 million is not worth it at all. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go for Kaita. Because I normally would go for someone like Taliso. I know he's a young talent, but Kaita, here we go. So, first let's decide the deal we want to purchase. So, offer transfer fee of 50 million. No, not that. Jeez, he'd walk out the room as quick as I could say stop. Let's try 45 million. You're going to have to pay better. How about 65? How about 55? I'm sorry, but we're not winning that. Oh, fuck sake, I've got to accept it because I knew if I, if I said anything lower. Alright, so 65 million so far. Here we go. Crucial, obviously. Contract length. I'm not bothered, he can stay for four years if he wants to. My client and release cause. Absolutely. No, that's what done. Let's talk about his salary. Um, he's on 79k. What about 90k? Alright. 90k. Let's just 
fucking see that. Let's, let's see if it doesn't work out the room. Let's... Fine, let's do that then. And we've signed Kaita to our club. Now, just wait there and let me just see what other centre buff we've got to get. Fuck's sake. Shit. So that's 91 million, but this is 53 million. And we've got 125. Oh, fuck it, yeah. We can do that. Alright. I'm actually going to sign Jimenez because he's 23 and he's 84 rated. Yep, that's fine. Let's just negotiate. Shit, I don't know why he's on. I'm gonna offer him 100k. Oh, he's. Um, he's on. What? Alright. Uh, okay, now let's agree in terms of his length. Five years. Okay, he's a young talent. Yes, great. Discard with his code. Now moving on. Uh, his bonus, right. What about just 90k? Where do you take that? I can accept that. We now we have signed our second player of the transfer window, which is Gimenez. We have strengthened our team just that bit more now. New. And of course, their uh, Batshuayi is here as well. Same as Che Adams. Let's add these players to the team, actually. So, Jimenez. There. Kaita. Hmm, there. Um, Batshuayi. Going to be on the bench. And Javier and Kelly. And Che Adams. Gonna be put there. And Matt is just gonna be put there. Okay guys, tell me if this does not look like a really, really good offer. Hopefully, oh my god, it's a 79 million release clause. Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna have to sell some players first. Fuck, alright, I'm gonna have to sell some players. I, I, I won that damn Bello. Marilyn Fellini, sold. Good. How much are we on now? Sorry for the silence, I might try and put some music in there. Depends if I remember to. Um, Tarema. He's actually a really good talent. I don't think he'll get played. Don't know why I just rejected. But now we've got 81 million. 283 there we go all right i'm sure we're gonna get him now i really really want him and plus um, by the way i bet you, I bet you all like um uh, yes I bet you, all of you are just like oh what's happened to jesse lingard he's going on loan right now because there's going to be played every single game start with this role crucial Oh, your deal. Yep, it's fine. Come on in, there, ballet. Why can't I look at the anonymous release clause? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah I won't be selling him either. Uh, let's move on. Two hundred thirty a week. Hmm, we fucked up. Okay, say about that. Yes! Why right, we got him. No bonuses for the first time, but we have signed Osama Dembele. Oh my god, what a big sign that is. Let's just take a little sip of my water. Wait there. Oh my god, we, well, we have signed Osama Dembele. He's gonna go straight into our starting 11. There he is, 86 rated. And now our team is looking stronger than ever. Oh my god, it's looking beautiful. 
and I'm happy with that. But look at that team. Jesus, anyway. If there's any more transfer news, I will tell you. What I've been looking for. Let's have a look. 65, no, no, no. Okay. Not very promising. Oh my god, it's not looking good here. Oh, very disappointing. Not happy with that. Jeez. Anyway, we are playing off. Oh, they've signed. Everton have signed another player. Still got the money, obviously. They've got loads of money in this game. So, uh, Darmian. Bellerin. Nothing over them, so keep them happy. And I actually do need to get a backup keeper, but the hair is going to be fine. Do not worry about that. <coughs> but anyway, let's head into the Arsenal game. Playing in our black kit this game. Not the strongest team at all in our standards, only because we've got a match against Villarreal in the Copa Europa. Basically, if you don't know what Copa Europa means, um, it's a competition where the champions of Europe or the Europa League versus the champions of the Champions, of the champions League. I know it's maybe not be fair. But the odd team does win against the Champions League team. Uh, I don't know what happens if you win it, like nothing. We've got a great one here, I'm sure. All the signs are good, all the omens are good. The teams are certainly very good, and the players involved as well. We're moments away. Join us for the kickoff, and it's live. First game of season two. For some managers, if they lose, usually will tell you that this first is a game of season two, and it's in the community the field. Let's go, Manchester United. Let's kick off season two with an absolute yeah. banger. Oh my god, close by Seamus Coleman. Oh my god, the bounce is horrible. Oh, oh, we cannot find Batshuayi. Keeper just comes out. But can't find Matic. Matter gets the shot away, but it's straight at Petra. Oh, shit. No. <clears throat> Come on, who is that? Angel Gomez just goes wide. No, Rashford gone. They're in there challenging each other. Rashford with the ball. Rashford, he gets the shot away. And Marcus Rashford has scored the first goal of season two. Did not think he was going to get the shot away in there, in my opinion. But he does, and he finds the top corner of the net. Being Petrek. Well, I thought he got there, but he didn't. Did Petrek get a touch? Three Meg Mertesacker. Oh, he might have got the littlest touch, but it does not matter. It is one of Manchester United. I know all of you listening want to know whether this is a done deal. Trying to slip it through. Oh shit, the through. Oh my god, credit to him. That was a lovely goal. What a lovely finish. I've never scored a finesse goal though in this season so far. I don't really like him because if you see here, there's more of a chip. But it beats De Gea. Any goal that beats De Gea is a good one. Fuck's sake, let's see how much energy. Look at that. 90 minutes of a full hard game. Not even half the energy. And I'm not loving Batshuayi right now. Oh, straight to pens. Okay. Daya, please. He scored it. Marcus Rashford. It's up for Manchester United. And scores it. Oh, it's a new system, isn't it? And he's got and he saves it. And saves it. Okay. Daya, no pressure at all here. Yes! Right okay. 
Bravo! Chiava! Yes! Saves two! Not sure if that's taken the pressure off Matic! And it has. Can back to where he's going with Penn. Yes, he can. <coughs> Come on, we're going to win it. Surely. Oh, he's tossing it away. Oh, shit. Come on. Yes! What a save! David De Gea is our hero! Get in there, David De Gea! And we win our first silverware of the season! What an absolute save! Look at this! What a save! He is just something else, De Gea! Oh my god, yay! Really hard to oh. be in this position now. Uh, just reflecting on what they've achieved. Didn't know when straight to penalty. I like that new um, penalty system though. The joy and the satisfaction Something after. different. A lot of hard work, as you say, Martin, and, uh, and well, Valencia will be lifting it. Did end up top of the pile. And first well, silver end season next. It is Villarreal in the we'll Copper Europa. The Which will be good, you know. Which will be fun, yeah, really fun. But and we, I don't like the celebration. Everyone's like, yeah, look at this. But even though it's not the biggest silverware, it's like the least silverware. But I do hope we win more this season. I do hope we win the Copa Europa, EPL Cup. I, right now, I'm going for every single one I, I'm in. Um, only because I know I won't. But it's just, I, I love a big challenge, and maybe this could be the big challenge in all of them. So. Let's head in to the final game of the episode. Let's go. By the way, Kaito had only been on for the last 10 minutes and they got miles of the match straight away. Jeez, credit to him. Anyway, let's go. Okay, guys, into Villa Royale in the Copa Europa. If you don't know what it is, um, it is basically where the winners from the Europa League goes against the winners from the Champions League. Not very fair, but that's going to be the team, guys. Dembele. Uh, and Gimenez will be making their debut today. Kaita made his debut yesterday, no, the, um, the match before against Arsenal. And hopefully we can win two trophies in two so far. And my, as, as, as I've said, my objective is to win ev absolute everything that I am in. I will not do that, but I always love a challenge. And... But I've just got to accept the fact sometimes when teams are better well, than me, you know. Almost over. We are down to the last game of this terrific competition. Two extremely good teams will go head to head for the trophy itself. Moments away from the kickoff, and we're live. And Villa Royale seem a very, very good team in FIFA. I might just do a career mode over them um, in, the no in the upcoming months. But as you all know, um, I'll be doing Europe Everton, Everton career mode next this after this season. I thought I was going to do Everton, Everton career mode um, after season one, but I decided why not? I need to stay with my team for at least two seasons. So what's the point in doing one? So anyway, let's go Manchester United. Find under Herrera. Good save straight at the keeper. The referee just got tossed the hell out. I'm going to try and run and find some options. Lovely turn by Lukaku. Straight at the keeper again. And for the Royale again. They've had, definitely had the better chance than me all this game. Boy, it's been blocked by Lin. Team Marshall's going to throw it. Oh! Paul Popper almost hitting. The match of time they're going to score in a minute. Oh, the turned me inside out. And the heck, I couldn't have done nothing about that. Maybe he would have dived a bit left earlier, but Mother Royal take the lead. I think that's, I think that's um, in Sweden, the stadium they're playing at. Oh, fuck, he's 1 0. Alright, not, 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 not the Pogba. What can he do? He can't cut inside. 
Can he shoot? Yes, he can. But their keeper has been on form this game. And it's still nil nil. Unless he whip this corner in. Why are you in the header? Yes, he can. You can fall to Lukaku. No. Alright. No, he's offside. Yeah. Go for goal from here. Uh, it's a free kick for Villa Royal. Also, he's gonna go for this shot here. And he has done. Do what the hell can the Kaku do? Oh, I'm getting pushed back. Oh, it's tighter. It's well, 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 tighter. Well, 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 Anthony Martial. Pogba, there we go. 1 1. We cut Villarreal open. And it's 1 1 to Manchester United against Villarreal. We're in a real game here, though. They have been very dominant in. Good reading of the play by the defender. But can only pass it no more further than Anthony Martial. What can you do with it? Oh, someone done by! It's 2 1. In a matter of minutes, Manchester United turned it around. And his debut for Manchester United, as I think, had could have got the winner. Or at least he settled through into the lead. Marshall thought about doing that on his own. I shot myself before he was offside, but he wasn't and slapped it home 2 1. In a matter of four minutes, Manchester United turned. Gonna whip it in to Lukaku. Kaita! And he scored! It's 3 1. And we've surely won it. To be honest, if you asked me at the end of at the um at the end of the first half, you're gonna win this. I wouldn't really want to believe it, honestly. Like I think I'd at least get a draw and go to the extra time or at least penalties. But Kaita and Osama Dembele have both scored now. All that we need is Gemez to score. Oh, they found the way through here. Oh, what a finish. And it's 3 2. How come whenever I'm in the lead, I, they always score? Oh, he's, and he's going to have to pass it to Dembele. Who can find Lukaku? Who can find Martial? Boy, he has to take it on his weaker foot. Don't know why. The whistle. Yes! Come on. Very good game that was for Manchester United to, to win. It shows how... Right, guys. A bit of a, bit of a question here. Not someone to point in the comments. Do you think we look... Physics, do you think we look stronger as a team? Or just the same or weaker as a team? What would you say? I'm not saying it's off this win. As I mean, looking at the squad. But anyway, here we are going to lift the copper Europa. I said copper, no, copper Europe, sorry. Because Europa League and uh, Champions League is all in Europe. So the copper Europa. And then I heard it's going to be lifting it again. And it's our second trophy of the season so far. And our next game, which will be next episode, guys, will be against Leicester City. I think away, I think it will be. But then you'll see, um, hopefully, we can perform good in the Premier League. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do like if you enjoyed, and see you.